All right, so today I'm gonna to be doing my rap video. So basically, on anything that really annoys me. So if anything that really agitates me, annoys me, drives me insane, I'll let you know. Because I'll tell you how it is. The one that really pisses me off will make me go crazy. The one that doesn't piss me off will not make me go crazy. Especially my partner, he does make me go crazy. Because my BPD is the worst thing I can do to hurt his ass. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like being um, being addictive. I don't like being the kind of girl who does a um, the 360 from like psycho to be becoming the extreme serial killer with him. It means like serial killer with your partner means the vicious killer. Yeah, so I pretty much have that shit on me. It's annoying. But at the end, I'm just trying to calm myself down from everything because I'm just being me. And I'm also having a bad voice today because I'm sick. I actually have a coughing voice. Like, <coughs> I'm coughing, but it's worse than before, but now it's better a bit. So I still have that kind of soft, raspy, kind of like sweet voice. But I'm not always sweet like this all the time and calm. I talk calmly when I need to be. I'm not always like this because I talk like a freaking like alpha bitch. And alpha bitch wants like, hey yo, you're gonna fucking get it real because I'm gonna kick your freaking ass if you're gonna do it. So that's how I am. Most of my voice is like, I'm gonna kick your butt, or blunt to you, or I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be speaking softly. So it's, that's the hardest thing you can do. But right now, all I wanted to do is just be me, be the handful of myself be the extreme original self of me and not be anyone else like why would I want to copy someone else like be someone else and, and, and just like say hey call it a day you know because that's not me so people expect me to be like them I don't want to be like them I want to be me and someone said to me oh today because I went to Howard Jacks today there was this little kid and his dad probably saying some weird shit like oh do you think that's a dude or something because I dressed a bit funny at the same time I was like wearing a nighty the shirt and then my freaking like um flats you know because i have no freaking other slides to wear you know because like rage took my freaking f sides today so yeah it was hard but the rest i don't really care i just know that um one of that thing made me feel uneasy at the moment because it's like oh i don't want to nitpick on me when i'm eating I'm like i'm just eating my food i eat like a princess anyway so it's not an issue so i just ignore them because you know why it's not, they're not really relevant to me. They just want to bring a pretty girl down like myself. So I'm like, okay, imagine she looks like a dude for a second. Or you could say, oh, she sounds like a dude. Oh, she sounds like a dude because she looks like a fucking dude. Dude, 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 dude. Do you got anything else to say besides dude, 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 dude? Because you're weird. You got nothing else here. Because you know what? You bring people down. You got nothing else to do. You're just a sore loser. You're a big fat bully. And what else can you do? You don't, you don't have any offer offerness to be positive around people, so you just like to judge. I don't judge when, when I come to like eating with my partner and say, "Oh, that chick is fat" or something like that. That's just that's just the most disgustable behavior you can do to someone and hurt someone like that. And that's really bad to like judge because judge gives you karma back. And that person was doing it, so I really don't give a rat's ass if they're doing it or not. It doesn't hurt me because I have a thick skin. Thick skin means like I don't really give two fucks if you are here or not because I'm eating my food, yeah? I'm just chilling. I don't like fucking people smoking my face and giving me attention. Why would I need to give you the attention that you need? Yeah, 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 because why should I do that? There's nothing special, you know, to, to show you that I'm doing it with you because like, I'm playing along that you're trying to hurt me in a way by, by, by giving me like smugly face and smugly because you freaking you can laugh at me and then you know make me look like a stupid piece of bitch you know like like, yeah, like a piece of stick that, that, that you want to laugh at because I'm stupid it doesn't work that way you know why because the way you're doing it doesn't work on me because it just doesn't affect on me because I won't allow that kind of piece of shit behavior to get out to get onto me Unless you really rub it really bad on my skin, then it's gonna be fucking fist to fist one day, or it's gonna be word to word, and I can rage your fucking ears, bit um bleed. I can bleed your ears by screaming. I have a supersonic scream, so it's not like raw like a dude. It's like raw like a fucking supersonic like bird, and it will supersonically bleed your fucking ears. I did it to my partner one time, and he doesn't like it because extremely when he pissed me off. 
that's when the supersonic sound comes in. And I don't really care, you know, why should I really care about like his behavior around me right now? Because like, I don't like the drug thing that he does. But the thing is like right now, I just want him to be clean. And I can't change a man's ass when he needs to change his own attitude in himself. So like I said, if that cunt doesn't change his own attitude, I'm just gonna leave him and just say, hey, you're out of my life. You're not gonna be here with me. Once, once, once a success as one of the most top tier people out there, and I'll see you in the street, I'm not going to give a fucking rat's ass about you because of what you did to me. That's what I'm saying. I might say hi to you, but I won't really appreciate you for what you are. So that's why I don't care. But in the meantime, like I said, I'm making my own videos, so I'll tell you how it is. If anyone wants to rat their ass with me, go ahead. I don't care. Mm, because, because I'll tell you afterwards later on how the video goes. And I'm not really scared of people who wants to like really interrupt me in my ranting sessions it's all right because i'm being me when i'm in the mood doing it that's when the raw shit comes out so i don't fake it yeah i don't what is that why is there things to fake about you know unless you're a fake ass yourself and wants to pretend to be something you're not unless you're a sneaky piece of shit bitch that wants to play cold pretend to be someone you're not but i don't really care there's nothing to, 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 to make me feel like I need to be you, you know, because at the end of the day, I'm just me. I'm just me, yeah? I'm just myself. I don't even want to call myself a name right now because why should I? Why should I call myself a name? Why should I bring that attention to myself? I just want you to understand at the end of the day um, who I am as a person, as an individually, is me. I don't copy anyone, I'm being myself. I might be inspiration by others, but I will not copy 100% of things. I will find my own ways of being what I like. But remember, I like a bit of this, a bit of that, you know, that's how it is. Like people say things like that, like Rach, she uses a little bit of this, she uses a little bit of that, that's how she plays the game. Yeah, I'll tell you how it is. But at the end of the day, I'm being me. I don't like using her words a lot because it really makes me feel like, okay, I'm being someone who I'm not, an imposter, you know? And being an imposter is the worst thing you can do to fake your identity to be someone you're not. I prefer you be yourself, you be who you are, and you tell them how it is. If you can't do shit right now with me, then tell them how it is because I don't give a rat's ass who it is, yeah? But if anyone can talk to me right, talk to fucking me in the camera or be a real person. I'll talk to you like how I'm talking to you, like, like as an individual, like you were standing here talking to me. I'll talk to you like how you are right now with me. Like, is there anything else I can talk to? Because if I'm lecturing to the class out later, later on, I have to be very, very precise of what I'm saying. But today it's more like my rant video so I can say whatever I want. And I'm trying to make this really short today, so I'm not gonna say like, okay, more than, yeah, more than 15 minutes. I'm trying, trying to keep it very, sweet around that time so you can watch how much you want to see from my ranting and my boiling piece of shit that gets out sometimes because people think okay oh i have fucking mood swings because i'm on my period i don't have periods bitch i don't fucking run the fucking bleeding but i do get bleeding when i'm dilating yeah so it's like pretty much similar to that and who the fuck wants to get periods it's fucking disgusting who the fuck wants to get the red shit and get fucking cramps every day that's disgusting yeah it might give you a breath but um, yeah, and, then, and, and, and I prefer not to carry a breath on me because it's so, it's so tiring. It's like exhausting and walking around with our shit around for nine months. Oh, I can imagine because I've been empathically through that body before and I don't like it at all. Because imagine if I channel to be in that body instead of being in that body exactly for the next generation years. Wow, wow, it's not okay. You know, because I have the ability to like walk from body to body. Sometimes it's annoying. Like, it, it, it's like a gift to understand that feeling and actually going through it, through that feeling as well. It's like, and plus the birth effect is the worst feeling of all because it's the most painful part of your body when you're giving birth. Yeah? Imagine like two of your ovaries grinding on the side of your tummy like you're having a tummy pins and needles on one edge. You know, like one's on the side here, one's on the other side, and it's grinding, 
like, like cycles, yeah, like, like, like in here, grinding you in and out. That's period cramps. How do I experience it? Through my work down there. So I know what it's like. You know, I, I don't really give a rat's butt's ass when it comes to that. So why should I care when someone's really pissing me off at the end of the day to do my shit and giving me my crap, you know? Because right now, I'm telling you how I feel. I feel very uneasy. My voice sounds really stupid. I sound really boyish because I'm my voice. It's been sick because I'm a sick bitch, you know? Because my voice sounds sick because I am coughing nonstop for the last four days like a dog. <coughs> and I'm still coughing. I cough like it's, it's been worsened, but now it's reduced a bit, you know, when I had my sleep, you know? And my sleep was the best. My sleep was the best when I had my best sleep, you know, because sometimes when I ran see shit, people think, okay, it's all about you talking, talking, talking about whatever that topic it is. But today, there's no topic, so that's why I can rant about anything I want. I'll call this the crazy, insane rant about what I'm feeling. So if I can't feel this, I can't feel that, then I won't tell you how I feel. But if I feel this and I feel that, then I'll tell you how exactly how I feel. If you feel like shit to me, if you feel shit to me because you feel like, oh, intimidated to me because I am a, a princess, you know, then I don't know what else. Because I'm saying to you, be yourself. Don't hate on people. Embrace yourself up. You see those girls that are pretty? You know, okay. girls that are pretty don't get a lot of freaking attention. You know why? The, the people don't like them because they get intimidated so many times. But but others, you know, because you know how it's like. Because I, I have pretty privilege. I know how it feels. People don't like me. They they approach me in a different way, and sometimes they rob me the right way or the wrong way. It depends on how they feel. But like I said to you at the end of the day, I tell you how it is as a female perspective as a trans female because I, I am a trans female so I'll, I'll give you that label that I'm a trans female means I'm your alpha sister and I know that you like to hate on your alpha sisters a lot and that's why you're gonna get karma very soon the ones that hate on your sisters and your alpha sisters are gonna pay for the karma price and I don't, I don't really give a rat's butt's ass when you get your karma coming back at you because you hate means the deadly sin the most deadly sin is hate so you can do it, there you go. You're going to get the worst of the worst coming out at you very soon. I don't really get for that. So yeah, so I tell you, I'm giving you warnings so you don't do that again. But if you do that again, too bad. I don't really care. But right now, I tell you how it is. I tell you, stop hating on people. When people look pretty, embrace them, admire them, try to look like them because they'll give you advice to look like them. Why would someone be pretty and then you bring them down and make them look shit in their self-esteem. I'm telling you as, as a person in the same time, if you want to be them, be them. If you want to distract shit, distract shit. If you want to be who you are, be who you are. Because at the end of the day, I am who I am at the end of the day. And I won't care who's who giving me the attention, giving me the slightest time to tell me who I am. because. I just want to say that I love myself a lot. I'm very into my, I'm into my beauty. I'm into my appearance because I'm a Libra, you know, because I love looking good. I love being the elegant prettiness. So what, why can I say that as a confident woman? You get, or you get bad lashes and say, oh, because you're too arrogant to say, say that you're pretty. Come on. I, I like being pretty, yeah? I love I'll looking like that. And then there's days where I look like a doll, I'll and there's days I look like a mess. So it's okay to look like a mess, and it's okay to look like a doll sometimes, and it's okay to be perfect and non-perfect sometimes. Because sometimes it's not always perfect all the time. Through our filter right now, because I'm using a shit filter to let you know it's a, as a me to you, so you can see how of a glossy kind of face look I have. So yeah, I think you took the at the end of the day, all I want you to do is just be yourself, be who you are, and that's it. But I don't really care. I'm just telling you that I, I love myself and that I really care about myself and I really care about you to be pretty about yourself as well. So as an individual, you can be pretty of what you are, but don't ever compare it with others. Just be unique. You always have to be unique to be who you are. You don't have to be someone else to be who they are. So 
it. If someone says to me, oh, you got a dick and you're a man and everything, cool, you know, congratulations. Because they, they want to bring you down that way from, from an alpha sister perspective. Good, because I, I feel sorry for those ones that getting that kind of backlash. But, you know, cry me a river, let me laugh at it because you know why, because I want to show my ass to you. No, no, I'm not going to show my ass to you. I'm going to show you the, the, the smiley face. Mm-hmm. Smiley face. Mm-hmm that I laugh inside because you're yeah, so funny, because it doesn't hurt me, yeah, because you're just too lame. Anyways, thank you for watching this video, that my ranting video is going like this. And that's it, yeah? That's how it is. Thank you for watching, and make sure you subscribe to this video if you want to have more yeah. contents from me. Thank you.